Hi, I'm back. I brought you with me on a dog walk. We have a hoar frost this morning and we also have foggy conditions. Uh, and I'm meant to be somewhere else later on, but I couldn't resist uh, bringing the camera along uh, in these awesome, beautiful conditions to see what we can get. Finally managed to find a jacket that we can get on the brown dog without him pulling it off. Loops around his legs and it's working so far, which is good news because it is cold this morning. It's minus three, but some of you watching in places like Canada might think, well, that's not cold. I've been to Canada a few times skiing and it is freezing. Amazing. I knew there was deer here. Deer here, deer here. Uh, and over in the distance here, there is one, two, three, four, five deer. But they're looking at us with trepidation because they live in the woods behind me. The wind is going gently over in that direction and they've done a runner, but how beautiful. Unfortunately, not a shot, but it's the first time I've heard them in the woods. I've heard them running around, but I've never seen them. And. Uh, they obviously felt comfortable with the fog to come out uh, of the hiding place, which is beautiful. For a while now, there's been a little copse of trees that I wanted to get a picture of. And today might be a nice day to do that. And I've got an idea for the picture that may or may not work. And I took inspiration from that, from uh, a picture I saw on a wall at one of my clinics uh, and it was a copse of trees but the bottom of the trees and the foreground was the only thing in the picture and it was a long thin pano shot so if the foreground looks interesting with this frost uh, then an image might be taken it's gorgeous you look around me and stop looking at my ugly mug it's a beautiful morning and it's one of those mornings where you almost want to just enjoy it rather than hitting the camera out and you remember when i said i was going to uh, get just the low part of the trees and that was going to be the shot. Well, I've changed my mind. And you can do that with landscape photography. That's, that's what's awesome about it. You can contradict yourself over and over and over again. Um, again, the camera is set up in portrait mode. And what I really love is these clump of trees. Now, this clump of trees possibly wouldn't work if we didn't have the fog because there are trees behind it that make the composition look relatively messy when there's no fog and i know that because i walk here every day uh, but today we've got uh, uh, some awesome elements to the shot number one we've got awesome lovely gnarly trees uh, that are pretty in themselves we've got separation because of the fog and we've got a nice foreground foreground could be possibly nicer it depends on your point of view with the um dead I'm going to call it bracken, but it's not. Somebody will know. Uh, but then we've got the grasses, which are lovely golden silver colour. Hopefully you'll see that we've got a third foreground there and um, a trees in the middle third and then the top third is sky. You can see the histogram. Uh, if you guys don't really know how a histogram works, and I'm sure you do, but to the left hand side is your darks, then you've got your midtones, and then you've got your lights. And you can see with this shot, primarily it's midtones and lights. And why is that? Because it's foggy and it's light, and there's not many darks. <laughs> and where am I going to focus? I'm going to focus on the area of interest, which is the trees. And that's one picture. And then all we're going to do is move the cover around focus again always focus again somebody's going to say no you don't do that aren't they and moved it around to the right 
of the shot. And isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful, ladies and gentlemen? And for my next act, John O is going to take another one. Oh, I'll tell you what, the, whether or not this comes out, I'm not really fussed. What I am fussed about is how beautiful it is here. And that's my shot. It should be a wee bit pretty. There will be some softness in these here trees because of where they are in the fog, if you get my drift. And don't walk away. We had this chat, me and Gary and Adam, and I'll mention it because uh, at the end of this uh, at the end of this video, there's going to be a link to the project that we were doing, which is going to be a podcast that you can listen to on the way to work, and also watch on YouTube. I will warn you that the YouTube the podcast is an hour long so if you are watching on youtube you've got to look at our ugly faces for an hour uh, but the beauty of it is is i listen to lots of podcasts in the car so you can stick it on in the car and have a laugh it is uh we do talk about everything and anything uh but mainly photography and we do have fun and we do take the mickey out of each other and hopefully it's going to be a regular thing so you'll find the link uh, at the end of this video uh, go and have a watch and go and have a listen so I was saying, <laughs> uh, I was talking to the three of them and we were talking about composition and Adam said, uh, uh, well, with his composition, he'll set up one uh, composition and take uh, shots in that single location as the light changes. Um, and Gary said he'll move his composition around. Uh, and I said, I'm the mixture of the two. I'll often sit in one location waiting for the light to be right but in a condition like this where the light isn't going to change that much uh, don't be afraid to move things around a little bit and see whether or not you can improve the composition slightly because i've moved forward it's taken uh, some of the messy foreground element out of the front and already looking in camera i'm like i'm preferring the look of it and if you can see that i've just got the grasses there and it looks for more of a balanced image to me if it weren't for the dogs that are jumping around in my composition that's the problem what they do these dogs is <laughs> they uh, always want to stand in front of me i don't know whether it's like they feel protected i don't know what they think what's going to happen if a wolf comes out straight up a tree i'll be after them protecting me so i'm going to go ahead and uh, take this shot must, uh, other thing I must mention is that I am in timer mode and the dog's yapping and um, whichever image looks best will come on the screen now. I should be a hard castle crag, uh, but I had to stop here. Um, it's such a shame because the, there's beauty everywhere here and I'm just hoping we get some nice images when we get there. Uh, but we've got an eaten mess here and all I've done is put the camera in portrait mode again. And I love this little furry bit in front of me here. So I'm emphasizing that with the contrast of the browns and the silvers in the background just like every single shot and we'll see if we can get a composition out of it so i hope you like that image unfortunately the camera froze at that point and it carried on recording audio but no video we went to Hardcastle Crags as mentioned, so there's no B-roll for that because of the camera issues, but we're gonna go straight in and catch up at Hardcastle Crags. Hmm. I'm on the top of the world, ma. So we climbed up to the top of 
Hardcastle Crags and isn't it absolutely gorgeous beautiful beautiful vista and we've got those trees in the background there uh, that fade into nothing because we've got fog in the distance and it's just absolutely stunning but I've set my camera up here as you can see uh, and we're in portrait mode at 70 mil with the 70 to 200 uh, and the reason I've got the 70 to 200 on this is I'm going to be going down there in a moment uh, to take a picture down the valley because I want these beautiful trees as the main shot but we'll go there in a minute and the composition is the tree that's right in front of me here and what we've got leading in is the different colours of the heather with the ice on them and again as I've been shooting all day it's a gentle pano shot just a three shot pano just to get the tree in the shot with everything leading us into the shot in the foreground shooting at f16 because I want everything sharp front to back without focus stacking because it's difficult to focus stack if not impossible it's not impossible but it's difficult to focus stack a pano shot and it's just beautiful because we've got the contrast of the darkness of the tree and also the purples and the greens of the heather and it's still a couple of wee gusts of wind but nothing major and it's just a case of getting the composition we're going to get a clip of maybe a little bit of uh, the white background in at the back but that's not too much to worry about because it is foggy and it's just a case of coming up to a place like this yourself and just looking for a, something that catches your eye take the shot um, and don't leave if you're somewhere like this have a look around for something else that maybe catches your eye and move your composition around a little bit and you could spend all day just in this location. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to nip down there and you see this uh, heather bush, this purple one, that's where Nick is to the left of him. I'm going to stand on top of that and I want to shoot down the valley and then that most probably be me done. But you'll be looking around and you'll be going, well, there's a composition there, there's a composition there, there is. You can spend all day here. Um, but I may shoot them, but I won't show them on video unless they're awesome, which uh, then I will. <laughs> so that's me done. And the reason that's me done is I have gone through four and a half, five batteries uh, because of the cold and because of the fact that three of them are third party batteries. So do not buy third party batteries for your camera. At least don't buy them from where I bought them from. So I came down uh, to look for a stra shot straight down the valley and I don't know whether I've got it hopefully I have I did get one one um, shot which was a pano shot from left to right we were shooting at 135 mil uh, at f10 because I was shooting the distance and the thing is is when I shot it uh, the light wasn't quite as good as it is now but you know I'm going to come back here I may well come back here tomorrow so we shall see but if you're ever in the vicinity of West Yorkshire, particularly when it's frosty and snowy like this, come to Hardcastle Crags and you will have a great time. It's time to go home for a big booty and a cup of tea. Thanks for watching. Peace.